Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door handle on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to change the handle on that freezer door, we need to know how it is mounted on there. There are two permanent studs that are located on the front of that drawer panel and they're tapered and they also have two set screws on either end of this handle so that when the handle slides over those two studs, the set screws will push up against the tapered part of it and pull it in tight towards the door and lock it in place. Now the set screws are a 332nd hex head or Allen key type of uh, set screw. And because they're very close to the edge of that panel, when removing them, we suggest that you put some protective tape in that area so that your Allen key or Allen wrench doesn't scratch your front panel. We'll just put a little protective tape in that area to prevent any damage. So when starting to take these set screws out, we suggest that you use the short end of the wrench first. That will give you maximum torque. So make sure it's fitted all the way into that set screw and turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. And once you have it loosened, you should be able to then put the long end in, but we want to make sure that we have some tape in the area so that we don't scratch that front panel. And then just loosen it until the handle will pull away from that stud. So just carefully turn that set screw out far enough that we can lift the handle off of that mounting stud. Do the same on both sides and then remove the handle. Now when installing the new handle, make sure the set screws are backed out far enough that they don't interfere with those mounting studs. Hold it flush in place. So just make sure that we hold that flush in against the front panel and then carefully tighten that set screw. Do the same on both sides. Once we have it snugged up on both ends, we use the short end of our Allen wrench so that we can tighten it securely. And all we need to do is remove our protective tape. Now, once we have those both snugged up, Remove our protective tape, and our repair is complete. 